what we want to do now is we want to just take a brief listen to uh, what kind of region contents we have here, or what kind of song we have. So I'm going to start by, I'm actually going to pull down my, uh, my master quite a lot here because it's going to be pretty loud. And I'm going to keep my master pretty f uh, fairly far down here uh, throughout, uh, um, throughout the editing process. Um, we're going to have to do something about that when I start mixing, but yeah, we'll figure that out. So let's just take a brief listen to the song, how it sounds, and it's going to sound crap just because everything's at the same level. You can see all the regions are pretty high. Uh, so things are going to distort and things like that, and it's not going to sound very good, but it's, it's, all, uh, it's only to give us a brief kind of overview of how the song sounds, what kind of contents it has, and get us a feeling of how, what we're going to do with it. So we'll start listening here. So that's just a very brief overlook. Now there's a couple of things you can, um, you'll notice right away. And first off, it's that everything sounds crap. So it's in dire need of uh, mixing, which is good because that's what this tutorial is about. Uh, secondly, uh, there's two more things we can notice. First of all, things aren't properly lined up here. So even though we have the BPM at the right amount, um, things still aren't properly aligned. As you can see here, um, the guitar rhythms, they start when the kind of chorus starts. And what we want to do is we want to align everything to the beats and bars. So you can see here, here's a bar. Uh, the, the wider lines are bars and these are beats. Uh, and they are very handy to work with if you want to move stuff around, um, things like that. So one thing we're going to have to do is we're going to have to move all of our regions into place so um, that the song starts at the right place and everything's properly aligned to the bars and beats. Uh, which brings us into the, the, the second kind of thing that uh, you might have noticed is that if we scroll out here and we look at these two strings, uh, the strings, the bass and the melody, uh, you can see that these are only present in the first chorus, kind of, uh, not here and not here. So that's also something that we're going to have to deal with. We're going to have to cut these out, duplicate them and put them here as well. Because the, this is very different this. And it wouldn't be very nice if the song actually got weaker as it got as it went on. So, uh, yeah. We're going to deal with that, but in order to deal with that, we're, we're going to have to start by aligning all of the tracks. So normally, uh, what we want to do is we want to select all of the tracks like this. Uh, just select them and scroll in, zoom in here. And in case you don't know, I'm holding control and I'm using the scroll wheel to scroll in like this. And what we want to do is we want to move this one to here. So this should start here. If we uh, move all of the tracks at the same time, that's going to align everything the correct way. Uh, and in case you haven't set things up here, the, these control kind of how you move stuff around. So the, this controls um, where the grid snaps and this controls that the grid snaps. So if we would put this to no grid, things would move seamlessly um, without any real, like, um, yeah, without any real logic behind it, um, tempo logic. And here it would move kind of with logic and then it would snap as well. So you'd, you'd be able to move stuff around. But if you come close to, for example, this, then uh, we have it set to beats, uh, divided by four. So, uh, as soon as you come close to something like that, fourth, it'll snap to that. But what I always use and what, what I recommend using is, is the grid, the grid function, because this means that you can only move stuff around in beat, so in sync or whatever you have set this to. 
So when moving stuff here, you can see that it jumps. Yeah, the, the, the kind of yellow digits that appear here and move around, they jump to fourths all of the time. And if I would uh, switch this to bars, for example, it would move bars, full bars. You can see that now it's a two and yeah, now it's a three and so full bars. And this is really handy and this is something that, yeah, you, you're going to work a lot with and you probably already are working a lot with. So, but what, what we want to do is we want to put this back at fourth just because this is in between two beats. So if I put this, the beats, this would correspond to one full of these. If I put bars, it would correspond to one full of these. As you can see, moves between these. And if I put fourths, uh, let's see if we can pull something here. Um, yeah, this one's always good. You can see that this is almost aligned to a beat. We we'll move this one forward. You can see it moves a fourth here. So that's what we want to do now. And we want to align uh, these, the, the rhythm uh, guitars, because these will uh, they start playing right away in the chorus. And we want this to play uh, right at the, at the beat here, uh, or the bar here, sorry. So having this set to, uh, to beats and having it set to grid, we'll just grab this and move it forward. And there. So as you can see, things are more or less 100% aligned. Well, okay, so there's there's a little separation here, but if you look at uh, our kick, for example, and you look at our snare, uh, things are fairly properly aligned. I am interested as to where why this is. That's very weird, actually. Oh, the BP actually, actually, the BPM is is improperly set. That's that's a revelation. Okay, that that's not very planned, and that's not how I intended to do this. But this actually brings us to um, uh, another nice little trick that you can use, and that is uh, setting the the kind of uh, the the re, uh, the song tempo from contents of a region. So. Uh, what we want to do, uh, I'm sorry, this is, yeah, like I said, this wasn't, wasn't planned at all. It's just bad planning it causes this, but it'll, yeah, it'll reveal a nice little, uh, nice little extra thing here. So what we want to do now, if we, we so this, this, this kind of means that we don't know the tempo, uh, but we still, we, we need to set the tempo properly in order to be able to work effectively with the song. So, uh, what, what we're going to do is we're going to look for a full bar, something that has a full bar. And uh, looking at the contents of the regions, uh, I'd say that uh, either this one or this one looks most simple to find a bar. As you can see here, it's almost a bar, 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 bar. So, and you can see that it, it distinctively moves closer all the time, which means that the tempo isn't set right. So if we listen to the piano by itself, It's an extremely basic piano, it's just chords. Um, but what we want to do is we want to cut out a full bar here. And a full bar is when this chord starts playing until just before this starts playing. So now in order to do this, as, uh, as you'll see, we're going to have to increase the, the kind of the depth of our um, our grid a bit. So now uh, I've put this at 64 and that's going to be probably be enough for cutting out stuff. And now you can you can mark this and actually press Control plus F. It will bring this up and you can see this uh, this way. So what we want to do is we want to select this region. And we want to cut here. We want to uh, split the region here. And in order to split the region, you press S uh, and it's going to split exactly where your uh, your marker is, your your cursor. So split here and as you can see this is the beginning the ex almost exact beginning of the um, the actual the chord so we got that there i will scroll and what we want to do as i said what we want to do is we want to create a full bar here and we do that by zooming in here instead and then cutting just when this starts so Mark the region again and press S. So you can see it's uh, quite perfect, but almost perfect. So now 
marking this. Here's a full uh, a full bar, and we want to tell order that set the tempo to to uh, just as uh, how long this bar is. So let's see here. I I don't I'm not sure if I I always forget where I uh, where the, this is located. Uh, actually, yeah, here we go. So go to edit and go to tempo. And here, set tempo from region equals bar. So that tells order that this region that I've uh, marked, which is a full bar, uh, is the tempo. Press that, set the global tempo. We save, and you can see that it's, it's 89.1. So we were mistaken by two BPM. Uh, so we're going to minimize this track again, control plus one. Uh, I'm going to go back and we're going to see here that, okay, it's, it's 89.09. Uh, and since I created the original session, I know that it's not a 0 0.09. I know that if it's 89, it's 89, uh, <laughs> sharp or flat. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's 89.00. So we're going to change this to 89. And that should do it. So if we go back and uh, move this back to beats, for example, and we select all of the regions like this and we move it all the way back all the way back to the starter session we can scroll in and you can see that everything's aligned now so everything is properly aligned but we still have this uh, this thing that we've cut out and i i like uh, in this scenario i like um, working with full uh, big kind of regions so I'm going to delete this one by pressing delete. I'm going to delete this one. We're going to scroll in. I'm going to uh, grab the, the end or the start of this region and pull it back. And we get our session, uh, sorry, our, uh, our first core back here. And now we have a, a, a big session again. We could even uh, grab this and pull this all the way back and it would, yeah, it would uh, create a full session, kind of like how we started. Okay, so back to the original objective here of uh, copying the strings uh, and putting them uh, up here. In order to do this, we're going to, uh, I'm just going to unsolo this. Uh, in order to do this, we're going to have to cut these out and then place them uh, appropriately over here. Uh, so what we, we're going to start by doing is make these a bit bigger. We're going to start by, uh, as you can see, it's put on grid, it's put on beats. We could actually even put this on bars now. So um, put this on bars and then split here. And we'll split over here because it, it has some contents after here. It's a, it's a core that's uh, yeah going a bit further. And we're going to split here at the start of it, split here. So what we have now effectively is a full, what's this? It's like 16 bars. Is it more or whatever? Um, we can remove the silence over here. Just press the regions and press delete. So what we want to do here is we want to place these, we want to duplicate these these regions and place them out here. So the 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 kind of chorus here would also have uh, the chorus would also have uh, strings. And if you look at uh, how this re this region looks and how this region looks, the guitar rhythm left and the guitar rhythm uh, middle, which are present in our chorus, you can see that. Um, we want to move these uh, like this, that, that would be nice. That way it aligns the same way. So now there's a couple of uh, different ways to duplicating and moving stuff around and copying things and like that. You can either press D, which would duplicate them right away. This way you, you just take them, pull them and uh, align them appropriately here. You could do that again to do that here. Uh, and everything would uh, be fine and work fine. Something that I like to do uh, when moving stuff around and I know where I want to move the things, you can select them and you can hold control now and, and then move the regions. And this will create a, a duplication of the regions. Uh, and it'll be a, a bit easier when you're, you're working with tons and tons of regions and you don't want to duplicate them and then select them all again or uh, move them that way. So this is just easier. You, you, Oh, sorry, you hold control and move them. So now this chorus is probably taken care of then. Let's see here, yeah, set low. So 
so yeah so that's set properly now what we want to do is we want to put it here as well but we also want to kind of extend the the, the melody here so we want the melody to play all the way through um, this is a bit cheating because we haven't properly listened to it and made that decision together yet but uh, I, I kind of know it from the, the original session that that's how I originally did it and how I originally liked it uh, so we're going to take this because this is the final chorus so what happens here This is kind of supposed to be the climax, and it's not a very good climax if it's weaker than everything else. So, uh, we're going to duplicate this one, move it in place. Now we have, uh, at least we have bass strings now. But we also want a melody. So, we're going to duplicate this one, move this here. And now in order to fit this, because if I duplicate this again, it's going to align uh, one bar ahead because we have this kind of uh, headspace here. So we take this, pull this in, put this here, and we'll, we'll create a little fade here. So put this at uh, beats four, pull this over like that. And these, uh, these regions now cross paths and Let's see here if we can grab a hold of either that one and we'll pull this to make a crossfade. So we'll listen briefly to how this sounds. Yeah. Sorry, I'm gonna gonna make it a bit. Uh... So that sounds pretty okay at least. Um, so once again, we'll mark all of our tracks. Now there's only two tracks that are actually larger than the others, but I always mark everything anyway. And we'll press Control plus one. We'll save the session. We'll scroll out and we can pretty much say that, okay, uh, the regions now uh, look properly aligned uh, and feel properly aligned. So we're ready to actually start listening to the tracks one by one. Uh, and kind of starting to, to think about uh, how we want to pan them, how we want to process them, and well, yeah, how, kind of how we want to do the song. So uh, we're going to start by doing that.